Who's that? Pull back. Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another episode of the Tearing It Up series where you guys in the comment section below tell me what weapons to use and tear it up with and whatnot. Now as my controller connects to my Nintendo Switch, uh, we shall be ready to play and get some stuff going. It's been a month since our last episode and our last episode was actually a pretty fun episode actually of uh, a lot of the Tearing Up episode that we've done. Um, we're also almost getting very, very close to the end of the Splatoon 2's Tearing Up series because as of today, it is about 47 days left till Splatoon 3! All my days! I mean, I think this, I'm uploading this video tomorrow, but today technically will be 46, so I hope you guys are all ready for Splatoon 3! I'm so ready! We're probably gonna have like two or three more episodes of this series, so make sure you get your weapons in of which ones that you want to pick, so... Uh, especially in this uh, video because there's not many of them left. There's not many of them left. Either way, uh, let's not dilly dally anymore. Let me show you guys what weapon we're going to be using today. And today's weapon is going to be none other than the Clash Blaster. Or the Clash Blaster Neo. Uh, a lot of people voted the Clash Blaster and I was just thinking, you know what? To be very honest, let's use the better one. Because I don't think we'll actually get a chance to actually get to use the better one uh, since we haven't actually used a Clash Blaster in this series. So we're going to be using the Clash Blaster Neo uh, today. This one actually goes hard. Like, I feel like a lot of people give the Clash Blaster a lot of flack for the weapon it is. There's a way to play the Clash Blaster really, really well. I'm going to try and do my best to show you that. I feel like it's a lot better than how it is. I think it's a very easy weapon for like people who are new to the game to actually just go ahead, pick up and use. And when it gets to like, you get to the, the I guess the X rankers and people who know exactly what they're doing and what to do and how to challenge things, you know, it, it gives the Clash Blaster a little bit harder of a time to actually deal with it. And I feel like those kinds of players uh, really struggle uh, to actually overcome those kinds of players. But you know, your boy, seasoned veteran, seven years experience, pro gamer at some point. I know how to use this thing in a, in a decently good way, so we're going to try and do our best to perform with this. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys what I can do. Before we start though, just wanted to change the build up just a little bit, so this is what I'm going to be running. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so here we are guys. Um, just to let you guys know... Uh, there's only like 10 minutes, well, actually no, 6 minutes left of this rotation. It's a tower control rotation. And, um, let me just tell you, tower control, yeah, Clash Boss is really, really good at tower control. But, uh, I don't know how long we'll actually, how much time we will really get out of this, so we'll just have to wait and see, right? Either way, um, Clash Blaster, how do we even describe it? You have... The curling bomb, and the curling bomb is going to be very, very helpful for your own movement. You also have tender missiles, which is one of, I guess now these days, one of like the most precious specials that a lot of people get very annoyed about. The only thing about Clash Blast is that you're probably not going to get tender missiles that much. Um, so it makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult to actually like get to work and all that type of stuff. Uh, one thing that's just to mention though, for sure, is that I have, I do have Ninja Squid. So it will allow me to, I guess, how do I describe it? It will allow me to run away from situations, allow me to actually approach people a little bit easier than normal. And, uh, you know, it just makes the things a little easier. Especially, I think it's just for, like, really for, I guess, closer range blasters. Uh, really do benefit from having Ninja Squid and all that type of stuff, so. Um, but, I think one thing that is pretty key... Uh, especially with Clash Blaster, is that it's not the most ag super aggro weapon. So, you know, what's it called? It's not really the one to really start initiation off. It's more just great for, like, a lot of defense actions and that type of stuff. So, yeah. That wasn't the greatest defense because I had to actually come from the back as well. But we'll try and still turn this around and see what we can do here. They're actually jumping mainly in the middle. They actually really pushed it to 58. And, um, which is not horrible. It's not bad. I'm just trying to see if I can actually help or assist somebody anywhere here, so. Um. Hang on. Just 
a lot of missiles. We're just playing pretty stalemate here. Not really doing much. Literally everybody's here, so we're gonna send those missiles off. Don't die to the suction bomb. I did get one of my miss with missiles though. Assist. That guy should die. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we can make our move. I believe it's just the heavy splatling that's on the top right right here. I'm going to wait right here because I feel like somebody will have to... Oh, wait. No, the heavy's still up there. I can actually probably pick this guy off, actually. Oh. You know what? I should have waited. It's fine. Whoa. Hello, friends. All right. Cool. They're all dead. Perfect. All right. I'm going to try and get myself up there. Actually, I'm going to use missiles first. Missiles first so I know exactly where, where they are. Just trying to stall this person out. Flash past the things up there. There we go. That guy's hella weak. I could engage that, but then I will be killing myself, so I'm not gonna try that. Three, two, one. Okay, he tried it. He tried it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm actually just gonna back up here. It's not. It's no real point me being here right now. Oh. Okay, we're backing up. Don't know if there's anyone up here still. But I'm just gonna try and keep this position here because I can. Uh, Get a really good flank here. Hello, friends. Okay, there we go. I got the good pick off there. I think the one of the main, the, the key, I guess one of the most key things about the Clash Buster is that you always want to try and get into situations uh, where you're hitting them first. Because I feel like if you really any 1v1 that you get yourself into, and uh, it's like, how do I describe it? It's like any 1v1 that you get into and they... It's like a, I guess, a neutral start. Usually you might lose it, because you have to pelt the person so many times, and most of the time you're only getting uh, non-direct hits. Most of the time. Um, so you, you really want to try and pick and choose your situations, and try and, like, only really take the ones that you can uh, get, like, get the first hit on, so that you have uh, more leeway in. It's kind of like a thing where, like, you kind of have to prey on people who make the first move you make you prey on people who make the first move and um take it advantage you take advantage of them uh basically if they mess up in any any in any way or form you know so uh but yeah just try and position yourself right and then you can get some work done um one thing that makes this game really interesting is that we're playing against a bunch of players that really know what they're doing, so... I'm just trying to play it as safe as possible. Hold that area off. I got some good suppression there, so that's great. It's just a heavy now, and there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't really want to move there. I didn't want to expose myself. None of those two guys didn't exactly know where I was, too, so... I guess we're just chilling. And, um... Yeah, man. We're just chilling. We don't even need to move. What's good, fam? Alright! Good stuff there. Really, really good start. Solid game to start off this whole thing. It's a hard game to start off too, but, you know, we did our part. We got some good assists in there, and, uh, you know, we definitely, uh, definitely won that game. As well as we could have, so. Decent game to start off with, and, uh, I shall see you guys in the next lobby. Right, so it is now Raymaker, as we did the uh, one game of Tower Control. But... Even though it's one game, it's all we need. Uh, because we're going to play some Raymaker out. Which is... Um, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. It's all good. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. I actually, not gonna lie, during this game, I mean, depending on our composition, I think I might actually try and pick up the Raymaker more often than usual. Unless, like, the... Oh god, that one turned too close. Unless the, the Octobrush has something to say about it. Or wants to pick up the Raymaker more. Ooh. Position myself right here. Okay, move. Oh, okay, well I got him. If the roller wasn't there, um, and if I didn't miss one shot, I might have actually been just, well, safe enough to actually move out of that situation, but that is fine. Roller's still under our ramp right here, so it's gonna be careful about that. I'm gonna try and take his move here. He is weak. There we go, get him out the splashdown. I'm... I'm not really that close to missiles. Oh, the directs! I did hit him with a direct, which is... Allowed that trade, which is really good. But... Just because of that, uh, it actually delayed their push, which is, you know, decent. They got it to 41. Uh, which, to be honest, on a counter, pretty dang doable. Oh, hello. 
Okay, perfect. All right, yeah, the roller was still there. I'm close to my missiles. I'm gonna, we're gonna try and initiate up these missiles. So, yeah, we can go, we can go up that. Go, 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 team, go, team, go, team. Rush, go, 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 go. Perfect. Just need to not die here. Oh my god, there we go. The roller's on that side. Oh, I did hit him once. He's backing away though. I, yeah, he's got ninja squid and stealth jump, so we gotta be careful about that. Um, since I do have ninja squid myself, I also gotta be careful with, um, with, uh, what's it called? Uh, basically everything. <laughs> I lost my trail of thought there, but here we go. Um, we are two down, and they do have majority of control. Not good for us. So I'm gonna try and do my best to just hold this top area, since it's such a key area. Uh, yeah, I still stop Raymaker, perfect. And that's really good. Have to find this roller who's on top here, and then we can make our counter push. Just do not die to him. They died to him, rest in peace. I believe he's still there. No, he, he dropped down. Okay, well that's... Mm, I don't want to say it's horrible. It could have been better for us. Just saying, it could have been better for us. Um, But we'll try and find a way. Trying to get some suppression damage there. Hopefully, if, if one, of them, one of them was weak, I could have taken him out. I'm going to missile these little guys off. The remake is walking into their spot, so there we go. Alright, I really want to try and flank. Hmm. We're going to try to make some moves here. I'm swimming, but with no noise. There we go. I got the first hit on him, so I can just take him, take him out easy. Oh, the roll is there too. A roll is such a problem right now, dude. We need to really be more mindful of where he's at, for sure. Because I feel like it's, once we've got him down, it is uh, we can push straight away off that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is not the play with the hammer, my friend. I see some plays with hammers. That's not one of them. I'm jumping. Dang it. Oh, dang. I could have jumped. If I didn't mess up the jump, I would have been fine, actually. Alright. There's actually three there, so it was just like... I, if I pushed in, I would have pretty much died, and which would have been horrible. Roller's on the far there. I'm mm, semi-close to missiles. We did take off one. Perfect. Actually, no, we, this is really good for us. Alright, we can missile these lot. Okay, the dude tube is getting really aggro there. Um, expect a stealth jump? I don't know if the roll is... I don't think the roller jumped then. Alright, cool. I just wanted to expect it just because I know he's, he's got it and we have to be wary of it. I'm also really close to missiles again, which is pretty dang good. I think there's a guy right there too. Yeah, there is a guy right here. That's the roller! Alright, cool. Alright. If my people could just hold on for a second, just for a second, then we might have had some, some sort of success there. Okay, we got directs here. Oh my god. Eh. Oh my god, the roll is back too, dude. <laughs> I tried to strong arm that as best I can, but it was not the, not an easy situation there. We got the control, but we just are getting picked off like flies here, dude. We're getting picked off way too easily. Uh, hmm, I am the last life. Yeah, they're just gonna run away from me, dude. They know I'm here. I can probably missile, hopefully, and then uh, hopefully stop it, but... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to stop that, unfortunately. Okay, no, this time. Alright. Um... Yeah, they're both on the platform. I am nowhere to be found. Yeah, man. Our defense... I stopped the Raymaker a lot. <laughs> just to say that, at least, but... It was just... Kept getting picked off, like, a lot, a lot. During that entire game. Just kept... I guess team-wise, just kept getting really picked off. So it made it really hard to actually get anywhere after that, unfortunately. But we did our part, we did what we could to, you know, keep us up in the game, but, so... Not the worst in the world, but I shall see you guys in the next lobby. Right, guys, here we are, going into our very next game. Now, hoping this game to go a little better in comparison to the one that we just played. And, uh, hoping to get some good gameplay coming out right now. Let's see what we can do here. The composition is, uh, I'd say definitely interesting. Our one's really interesting, <laughs> to say the least. We should be- oh, mm. 
we commit to it. All right, perfect. I'm gonna try something. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I I got in for a second, decided to disengage straight away. Couldn't move because of the stingray, which made things really awkward there. Uh, we're actually gonna pick up Raymaker and push it to their side a little bit, which is actually not the worst thing in the world since it. I guess it makes the path just that a little bit longer. Um, but I'm not too sure about how this is gonna go after this though. Uh, 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 double direct. This guy like right there in front of me too. Okay, that stingray is gonna be such a problem, dude. We don't have an armor to actually defend it. But we somehow also kill it too. Wow, alright. One of our guys actually like super is basically super in there. I'm gonna missile all of them here, which is great. Have good visual of where everyone's at. Basically one guy far 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 right. I mean I could just leave him there, honestly. I know he's gonna be there. Now we know that two is going to be there. Perfect. Alright, perfect. The carbon's still there. But, hmm. The Rainmaker's going to be popping in the middle. Okay, no, he's going to ultra pop it. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> can't do anything about that. I'm going to try to swim my way around. Okay. I'm so lucky to be alive right now, dude. I'm so freaking lucky the ninja squid really helped me there, dude. <laughs> That's insane. Alright. Um, they are missile well not missling, but lasering again. I'm gonna try and build- do my best to build missiles up again. I got- do got the ultimate high ground here, which is great. I tried to time that guy popping up, but then he didn't pop up how I thought he was going to, so... Yeah. I'm a little unfortunate. I- probably the better player was just- would've just been me waiting, uh, instead of, uh, just dropping in there. But, really, what can you do? I got two bomb rushes, man, not even just one. Uh, I'm shooting this uh, to stop it. They got it to 22. Not what I want at all. Jet Scorch is in mid. Not sure where the Carbon is, and the Carbon also does have an interest grid, so I've got to be careful of that. So you can see Canal could be anywhere. And I killed some. I killed the Dually Scorcher with my Curling Bomb. But the Carbon had to be at. Well, he was hard flanking uh, somewhere on top of. on our upper plat here, so. I'll pick it up. We need to get this Raymaker moving anyway. Um, the only problem about this is that I'm super slow since I have Ninja Squid, which does not help us at all. Uh, but, try and do my best to make it work either way. Um, I think there's still a comeback that can be done from here, but we just have to wait and see. There's a guy right there, there's two guys. I don't, I'm gonna reposition myself here since I don't need to be on top of someone else as well, which is not going to help us. Pop that. Missile those two on there. I can shoot over this guy's shield, there you go. Alright, I'm going to she... Yeah, I'll pick it up, sure. Okay. Here we can lead her. No! There's a carbon right there, dude! Oh, maybe I should I should have been way more patient there, dude. I mean, we got the Raymaker on the platform, but... It's not where I wanted it to be. <laughs> it's not where I wanted it to be at all. Oh my god, okay, I got direct on the carbon, but that's not gonna be enough. That's why I really say that this weapon really thrives off you taking advantage of people when they don't get the jump on you. Because if they get the jump on you, it's like, you can't really do much of, about that. So you have to play uh, a somewhat patient game. But, this is good. This is actually really good. I wish I could have got my missiles out before I did all that. Oh, that could have been so good as well, dude. We're not on that platform, man. We need to get on that platform. Maybe I shouldn't be picking it up. Maybe the diamond should pick it up instead, dude. There's a guy going all the way far right as well. I definitely did see that if I'm not going crazy. Mm, I don't know what to think. I genuinely don't know what to think about that, actually. Unless, like, it, he didn't drop. No, actually, no, everyone's in front of us, okay. I guess he didn't drop, so... I, mm. I wanna get up there, dude. Nice. Good stuff. I'm coming in! There we go, perfect! Perfect! We just need a hold. There we go, got a lead! Oh god, dude. Alright. Had to pull some strings there, dude, just to, you know, get the job done. That inkjet at the end was very, very key, because it got two 
really good picks and then that just allowed me to just to, just to walk in so yeah a little messy of a game there but we still got the victory which is still nice uh, i'll see you guys in the next one all right guys so this is what you call post commentary dude because live commentary dude decided to turn his camera or well, not his camera but his microphone uh off during this game and forgot to turn it back on the neck during the next game so here we are, starting off with this one. This one is a Clash Blaster with, uh, I'd say, a really interesting composition. The one thing that I was mainly scared about with this game in particular is that we have a Flash Up Pro, Clash, Roller, and a Charger. And, not gonna lie, every single one of those weapons, also that guy falling into the map, in the, in the, the water, was so funny. But, every single one of these weapons it's just like, ha, huh, we cannot paint for ourselves. It's a, it's kind of a struggle to actually get things going here. So that's actually one of the main things that I was talking about here. And uh, this one situation was actually kind of crazy. It's just that the roller, well, not the roller, the, the, the hammer was not close enough for me to, to actually take me out, which was, uh, made me feel really anxious, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Uh, I drop into a situation where two are, I tried to stop the Raymaker primarily, but didn't realize how much more back the the cds was actually going to push back so i got into some really weird situations at the very start uh but it's not over until it's over we still do some good double team with myself and i believe that was the roller there so took the advantage well the opportunity to actually try and flank here and uh i wanted to try and take control of this whole entire area but then i realized that dang i'm overextending and i should actually move back so I actually start moving my way back and then instead just actually flank. In this situation here, I thought that everybody was on that side of the map. Uh, which they were. So I tried to push solo push the Raymaker, which is not the one that, thing that you want to do. But it still gets the... I mean, it's still early game. Still gets the Raymaker a little bit close to their side. So that's why I just did that. But in the end, it didn't really matter that much. It was just an opportunity that I thought maybe I could actually pull off. Since, uh, you know... I felt like I could have reached at least 21, but 21, on, not, not gonna lie, on this map is actually quite far. Uh, so, moving on to this uh, this part. I tried to do that same thing. Try to get to, this, to the left side and uh, do like a, ultra, uh, in, a flank around. Because the thing is about this game is that we can't really paint towards them and like push towards them. Like, I thought maybe what I should do is try and flank around and we just... It would just be me alone and we pinch after that. Uh, so that's why you kind of see me do that quite a lot, and I try to try and find a lot of openings that are just open so I can, uh, you know, try and get that pinch going. Uh, spot the roller coming back, back behind us there, so we got a pretty solid kill there. Do take out the hammer as well, and, uh, start to pop off a little bit here, just a little bit. Uh, I noticed that there's only one person in front of me, so I take this whole, con this L area here. I flop so hard! <laughs> on that K-Shot kill it is actually ridiculous I sh and I should have won that because I first I got the direct and I could have just like I, th I think I missed one shot and because I missed that I, I lost the entire situation there so yeah kind of sucked there but it doesn't really matter I'm already back here and I actually used the my ninja scripture advantage here and try to get this pinch going since we're already uh we're pushed up on one side so I'm basically just like messing them up and spawn camping at this point um so playing it very slow and safe not trying to make too much movement happen just trying to pick off people and get the first jump on them before they can get the jump on me so i get a lot of picks around in this in this uh this part of the game and um yeah i don't try to over commit too much i just try to play it safe if people do mess up like that situation there then i'm just gonna take advantage of it uh, I do move back here. Uh, try to flank around because my team is going through front, so I'm going to try and get a pinch going. Taking advantage of pe well, people trying to flank. This These missiles actually do kill that roller there, so it was actually pretty dang lucky. I guess the, the extra damage that I got on him uh, was just enough. And uh, this is actually the end of the game right here. Spoilers. Because this Rainmaker handling, I gotta say, is pretty god -tier. So... At first, I think, okay, well, I wanted to go forward, but everybody started dying in front of me. So, 
instead, I'm gonna wrap myself around and try not to hit, uh, get like the penalty of like things moving. Like, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go all the way left. I didn't want to go all the way left there because I knew all of them would move there. So I wanted to double back and just like run through the the I guess the uninkable area there. And uh, yeah, I got a really smart rainmaker lead that I well, we basically won the game. My commentary and that uh, kind of messed up, but either way, the game was still good, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you guys could understand what I was trying to do there. So, uh, in a way, either way, next game. All right, guys. So I'm actually gonna try and make this the final game. I'm gonna see what we can do here and see what we can uh, accomplish in these. Uh, what's it called? One of these. Well, I guess this Rainmaker game. Good composition here. Solid composition on the other team. So pretty balanced. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm just gonna throw my Carling Bombs through. I should go throw a Carling Bomb through and try and get to the other side already. Hopefully, didn't see that. Hopefully, didn't see that. I'm gonna do something crazy. Let's do something different. If, I mean, if the game allows it. Uh, actually, never mind. We're gonna go back. I was thinking, what if? What if I just go ahead and flank all the way around? And then I thought to myself, okay, maybe not. <laughs> They've picked up the Raymaker already. So let me go get myself some missiles in a. Wow, they're all there. All in this one straight away, so. Uh, I'm gonna toss a couple of those. The curling bomb. Oh, that missile must have killed him. I was about to say, how'd that person die? But yeah. Uh, the curling bomb bump actually killed one, which is pretty dang crazy. Oh, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Back up even more. Back. Nice. I didn't get the full kill there, but that's fine. I think they're all right in front of me here. Yeah, they are. Um, that guy's right there. That is... What is that? That's a junior? One shot. There we go. Swim forward slowly. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Oh my god. I'm really trying not to die here, because I feel like if I... If I go for that pro, I'm gonna be easily flanked by the gun the other guys spawning in, so I was just like, this is not the time. I could have got the trade, obviously. I would have got one and then traded off, but I'm I really wanna keep this position here that I'm in right now, so. These auto bombs are locating me a little bit. Actually use that to, to actually come back in. I don't think they will notice me right here again. No, dude. Exactly what I meant, dude. You just have to be really careful. You need the- I need that guy to pass, and also that Junior had the auto bomb, so he knew that I was there. <laughs> so, it just kind of- that situation just got messed up, unfortunately. But, it's fine. I can swim my way here and, uh, pick one off real quick. Cool. The one's coming- oh, okay, no, I'm- I'm low ink on that. I can go back, though. That guy's weak. Auto bomb. The auto bombs, I should say now. I'm right next to this pro. He's one! There we go, nice. I'm gonna missile this guy, just move him out of the way. And the Carling Bomb as well. Oh, he's not even right in front of me though. There we go. There's one up here, so we're gonna take this guy out. And we're gonna be able to have the pro coming in as well. So I got his back right now, he's not doing anything. Yep. Good, he's chilling. There you go, take the carbon bomb, even though I missed it. It he's succumbing to R and Jesus there. <laughs> oh, junior dead. Perfect. We get a lead there. Nice. Third game. Wait, was this supposed to be the last game? I think I did five games. I did five or six. Okay, let's just do one more. <laughs> I think I should be doing one more game after this, actually, so. I'm losing track of how many games I've been doing. But either way, that was a decent game. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Right, okay. Now I'm making this the final- the very final game. For sure. This is the final game. This is it. This is for all the marbles. We are playing on Snapper Canal, and we are going to snap their canal. If that makes any sense. Either way. Decent comp. Decent comp on the other side as well. Now I'm gonna try and do that weird thing that I wanted to do last game, so hopefully all goes well. I can throw the curling bomb and not get kills as I go past. Don't pop, don't pop. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. We're good. I just really, really wanted to make sure that didn't pop. Should be able to get that guy easy. Perfect. 
gonna run my way over. <sighs> okay, I got one. <laughs> okay, I got one. I didn't think I was like expecting to just for them just to come there straight away, but uh, this is actually really good for us. Uh, it's a shame that we're still on our side of the map, but honestly, I mean, uh, we're a jet squad show, but we could have could have been repositioned a little easier there. Okay, he is very weak. Yeah, I shouldn't have played into his game there, dude. That's really silly of me there. Um, I didn't need to move. I could have just stand, stood still and just wait for him to come back if we really wanted to in a situation like that. So, that is a no for next time. Turn around me. Perfect. Okay. Get rid of the Jet Scorcher. This guy is going far, far into the... For our us into our side that ink brush is still somewhere though we gotta take care of him somewhere i don't know exactly okay no he's just running in the middle good to know everyone else will be in the middle and well not in the middle but like they'll be running out of their spawn right now so uh not bad jet squelcher why do you have to do that man you just hit me by random <laughs> at least they put the well, they're repositioning now um, but I'm gonna try and use this to take about there. There we go. That's pulled three of them there. I want to get around them now, dude. I don't want to stay where exactly where I'm at right now. This get jet sculpture is not having it though. He does not want me to go past. Okay, he's going back. He might know that I'm actually going all the way around, but actually no, he got, he got killed. So I got time to just get a full flank going on. All right. You, you've seen it. You see it here first, guys. The flanking jet sculpture. Well, not not flanking jet sculpture, but flanking. Um. Time it well. Okay, cool. I timed up as well as I, I possibly could there. Uh, I missed the guy. Sit with myself right here. Going off the shot. Move, 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 move. Perfect. We are the sneakiest uh, Clash Blaster of all time now. Perfect. Alright, they're all off spawn. No, I should have just lived, man. Ah, oh, I could have just held that. I could have just held that for a really long time. Ah, oh, no, man. That could have been so much better than how I executed that. But it's okay. I mean, we're still winning, too. We got the man advantage. I can get myself back in there fairly easily. Um, I think, though, this time I'm going to try and go around left side. Because that, that Rainmaker pop is making me feel very anxious. Didn't see that. Okay. Okay, my chance here. Nah, dude. <laughs> I waited too long on that. I was hoping for them to come back, but he didn't come back, so. I should have taken like two shots and then backed up straight away and then wrapped all the way around back. That was the play. There's two on our right side. I don't like that at all. And I don't want to face these guys head on. So I'm gonna. Try and make him think that I'm still around here. So a couple of column bombs and then move my way back. Okay, actually move him back as well. Die, perfect. At least brush is dead. We're actually only a minute left, man, and I don't know how to feel about that. Throw that in. Oh god, they could go all the way right. I don't like that. Good, whatever that was. I don't know how that person died, but he's dead. That's what we wanted. Preferably, if all of them could die, perfect. But oh, I got one guy that's on my top right here. Don't like that at all. I want this thing to reset, so I'm just gonna camp it, not move. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Uh, I got him. With the trade, they got me out though, but at least we took out two, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Like, situations like that, just get two up. Even if we lose one man down, it's just, you know, it gives us so much more leeway to move. And as long as we don't die off that, then we're chilling. Now, this game was really just one of those games. We should go up here, man. No, don't go. No, why are you going deeper? Why would you do that? <laughs> you did. I had no business doing that. Jeez, man. All right, well, one is flanking. I'm gonna pick it up just so we make sh just to secure the victory, but 
Guys, come on, you should know better, especially in X-Rank. Like, if it's like 10 seconds left, there's no, and you're winning, there's no need to push it in deeper. Like, track a time, man. The time is on, it's on the top of the map. Well, not the top of the map, but the top of the screen. You should see it. God damn it. All right. Either way, we won. That's good. I shall see you guys in the plaza. Right, guys, so that was the Clash Blaster. It is honestly, generally it's a really fun weapon, very... It's, I wouldn't really, it's not the fastest weapon out there, but it has a really interesting playstyle when played well. And, um, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of things that definitely hold it back. One of the things is that it really needs people to paint the floor. Because it's not going to be, it's, not, it's paint out, output is not as quick as you'd hope, want it to be. Which kind of sucks, but, I mean, that's why it has to be, because you... you you don't have to be the most accurate person to be able to get kills with it, but, you know, you just have to be, you know, diligent enough to hold the crosshair where it needs to be to eventually get the kill, because it doesn't kill that fast at the same time, so... Um, yeah, there's a lot to it, but it's a really fun weapon, you should give it a try, and probably a lot of people who watch this video or are from the comp scene are probably going to hate me for letting people know that to give this weapon a try but it is fun it is really fun it does have missiles so it can't go wrong with it so either way really really fun weapon really really fun episode hope you guys enjoyed this episode in general it was a really good one to go through i can't wait till splatoon 3 comes out make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know what weapons to use next and with all that being said hope you guys enjoyed follow on twitch and twitter if you're feeling generous subscribe to the youtube channel click the bell notification and and join my public Discord channel to get notified whenever I go live for a Twitch stream. That's a quick version of my outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.